Hey guys, it's Cupthick, and in this video, I'm talking about abandoned cabins, all the crate spawns, card spawns, really just everything you need to know about this monument. Also, if you enjoy this type of content and want to see more of it, you can subscribe to my channel. It's completely free, but it really means a lot. Thank you. Starting with a quick overview of the monument, this is what it looks like on the map, and this is what it looks like in person. As you can see, it consists of a swampy lake with a small house and a big house. No rat protection is needed for this monument, so it's great for early game loot. Starting with the small house, there are two crates that spawn here. One is on the outside, and the other is on the inside. These crates have a chance of being a brown crate, food crate, or a med crate. Completely random. You can also jump on top of the small house using the outdoor crate, but this is fairly difficult and took me many times to pull off. Moving on to the swamp lake, there are lots of sulfur pickups and occasionally sulfur nodes that will spawn here, so it's an easy way to get sulfur early game. You can also build inside the lake, so you could set up your base here if you wanted to. Now let's talk about the big house. Inside, there are two crates. One on the first floor, and the other is on the second floor. And these crates will always be brown crates. Also on the second floor, there's the green card spot, which is on top of the desk. You can also get on top of the big house by jumping onto this fence, and then onto the roof. And that's about all you need to know for this monument. If there's anything I missed, leave a comment down below.